Well, hey, Bato YouTube, coming at you with another video here. And look what I got. It's a monster box. Well, it's a monster box. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll have to take a look and see what's actually inside. All right, we have the box open. Uh, I'm just going to use the lid here as a little base and something to record off of. But first thing we have that I purchased, we're going to go from largest to smallest, is this. It is a Republic Metals, one kilo, poured bar. Pretty nice. Uh, little dealio here and uh, let's see what I pay for I paid uh, $15.95 per ounce for this so you do the math it's a pretty good one all right let's put this in here all right next up I got the most interesting thing probably of uh, of all Something that we probably haven't seen one of, uh, or that I haven't seen at least, on a YouTube video. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> it's a little over uh, 20 ounces of solid silver in a sphere. Amazing. Apparently, uh, the guy that, uh, to the guy or gal, I think it might be might be a gal is uh local and, and makes these i guess uh and does an assay on them and everything but uh very interesting uh just a a ball of uh silver twenty point five ounces not bad I paid uh, 320 bucks uh, for this uh, guy. Pretty interesting, unique piece. Next up, I got a pretty nice little poured bar, and it's an odd weight, so you guys should probably like this. Here we go. Check this out. Looks like it says LMC and it shows 10.426 uh, ounces. Pretty interesting. I really like these loaf uh, poured bars. This one looks like it's been around the block. Um, has a serial number or something here. Um, and the lettering is kind of reminds me of the IBM uh, logo from uh, days past. All right, let's throw this guy on a scale. Looks like 10.49. Next up, I got another cool little loafy bar. Here's another bar that I've never seen before. All right, after putting my glasses on and going into even better light, it looks like it says USS Constitution, which I've never heard of. and. Uh, not sure if that's even a real mint mark or what, but uh, another really cool loafy poured bar. Um, the edges are ground down. It's just super cool. All sorts of character. Top is flattened off, stamped. It's cool. I like it. And I bought these two bars that you see here for a total of 320 as well. Paid not much more than spot, like maybe 90 cents or so. Now I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Up next is uh, 
Well, you'll know it when you see it. You probably knew what it was before I did. Whoa. Ten troy ounces of fine silver. Oh wait, what's that eagle? Booyah. These are always popular. The U.S. Assay Office of San Francisco. <laughs> it's super cool. This one looks like it's been around the block a few times. And uh, just, just I've always wanted one of these. I don't know what it is about them, but I think they're, uh, they're one of everybody's favorites. I mean, these are just... Uh, these are just the coolest. It is a stamp bar. It's not poured or anything, but still, this one's got the history. 1981, so uh, that is, uh, well, it's almost as old as I am. All right, next up, we're getting into uh, the nitty gritty here. <laughs> This this little guy right here is the reason why I got the uh, the assay uh, um, bar. I was talking to the guy at the shop, and uh, he says, "Oh, that looks like one of those U.S. assay bars." I was like, "You don't happen to have one of those?" And he said, "I sure as heck do." And I said, "Go get it." <laughs> Anyways, this little guy is uh, kind of weird. Looks like it has. Uh, uh, Luther Burbank, who is, uh, I guess, a local. Um, he's he's the guy for which a local city here is named after. In fact, uh, you know, Disney and whatnot. A lot, of those, a lot of those companies are located up in Burbank. Pay, this is an ounce, and this was uh, slightly higher than than uh, normal. Uh, for an art bar but uh you know whatever it looks a little bit old and who cares all right i just bought about six no i just bought five of those uh Silvertown uh, one ounce bars the other day, but I saw this one and it looks like a uh, kind of a more vintage older one Silvertown it, But it could just be one from a year or two ago that somebody hasn't taken very good care of who knows But I saw Silvertown and figured what the heck I'll just buy it the U.S. Assay Office, the Silvertown, and the Burbank Bar were all the same price uh, per ounce. So after I bought a bunch of that stuff, I went fishing in the uh, junk drawer. And, well, I caught something. Uh, this is a sturgeon, like a sturgeon. If you've heard the, uh, oh wait, no, that isn't the Weird Al song. That's the one, that's what my dad thinks it's called, because he's a fisherman. These crazy little art bars, these are real, real cheap, these are 90 cents uh, over spot. Pretty fun, whatever. This is some sort of toadfish, but it kind of looks like a uh, one of those betas, you know, the fighting fish. Anyways, I just thought it was kind of cool looking and had a cool scene. Um, I picked this one up. Why not? Here we have the fastest animal that exists, the peregrine falcon. I 
have already been collecting the Canadian Birds of Prey series, which includes the Canadian, or excuse me, which includes the Peregrine Falcon. But I thought I'd get another one here. It's pretty cool. I kind of like these little art bars. They're cheap, and uh, you know, I've never seen anything like it. I don't see a lot of you guys uh, putting up these uh, odd oddball art bars. Um, they probably have no numismatic value and no appreciation of capability. But, you know, if it's cheap silver, why not have a little fun with it? There's a moose on the loose, and here he is in my house. Pretty crazy. I used to go up to uh, Wyoming a lot when I was younger, and uh, more than a few times we would wake up uh, in the cabin that we were staying at and uh, look outside, and not more than 10 feet away would be a moose uh, licking on the salt lick or munching some greenery. And let me tell you, you don't have an appreciation for how big these animals are until you've been, uh, well, nose to nose with one. They are uh, amazing creatures. In fact, one time at Yellowstone Lake in Wyoming, uh, we were on a fishing trip, and we saw a moose swimming in the water, and there's an island in the middle of uh, Yellowstone Lake, and he was swimming out to the island. It was the darndest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, but yeah, moose are pretty amazing. The biggest of the deer. And finally, it's no doubt that I've been bitten by a rattlesnake. <laughs> by the silver rattlesnake, at least. Uh, we'll check this guy out. He's a Californian. Uh, diamondback rattlesnakes are uh, at home here in this play part of the world. Um, I've never seen one uh, face to face, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but. Uh, if you do, this is kind of what he looks like. <laughs> yeah. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. If you watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm kind of a fan of Mexican silver. Um, I've been wanting to get these for a while, these Hidalgos. Uh, they're pretty nice. Um, nothing special. I got these for 15 bucks each. Um, but uh, I really like the Mexican silver. Uh, it doesn't have the Queen of England on it, which is uh, a huge bonus. Plus, uh, uh, our culture and the Mexican culture have a fair amount of overlap. And... Uh, Frankly, uh, you know, I think that that's an underappreciated uh, culture, and uh, I like what they have in terms of uh, coinage and silver. So, uh, yeah, I'm buying it. So, uh, I know some of you guys have some strong opinions about Mexico, but don't don't let that detract from uh, your ability to appreciate their uh, coins. So, I've got five of these. Three of them I got for 15 bucks, and then two had little dingers on the uh, edge. This is one of the ones I think that was 15. Here's another one. I think they're cool. I really like the, the eagle with the uh, snake in its beak. That's pretty cool. This one looks a little bit more worn. Maybe this is one of the ones that he gave to me for 10 bucks, which was a pretty good price, I think, even if they're messed up a little bit. Um, yeah, really, four of them look pretty good.
this is the one where you, you where you can see the little dinger on the sign it's really not that bad i'm sure some of you uh wouldn't give it a second look it's got a little tarnish or something going on but uh I really don't know if I should do anything about that or just leave it alone. All right, we're going for the gold here. I don't know if this is the obverse or the reverse, but uh, finally got a 20 peso piece. Pretty cool. I think this is the obverse. And this is the reverse with the uh, Mayan calendar very intricate at any rate this is a pretty nice little coin I've been wanting one of these for a while I have a centenario so uh, this was uh, nice to get as well you can uh, read the edge I need better glasses to see this I can't can't read it <laughs> But anyways, we'll put that in there. I paid uh, paid five thirty eight for this guy, so not too bad. Finally got my first uh, gold sovereign. Um, I really don't have uh, any British coins, but uh, thought it'd be appropriate to get a uh, um, a sovereign today. Uh, you know, I'm not really much of a fraction. Uh, not really much in the fractionals, but um, since I was getting the peso and uh, something else, I figured, what the heck, I'll get a uh, a sovereign as well. Gold price is relatively low today. It's about as low as it's been ever. So I took advantage and uh, swooped this up at. Uh, 270 bucks, not too bad. And finally, I got my uh, 20 franc. Yeah, I've come to snuff the rooster. This one's been around the block. It's uh, it's not in fantastic condition or anything, but uh, it's a rooster nonetheless. So uh, pick this little bad boy up for 216 bucks. Uh, not bad for a uh, little piece of history, and uh, they're relatively low uh, premium. So what the heck? Um, I've always wanted one of these really trying to get into uh, more um, variety of, of coins and that sort of thing I mean I got tons of uh, of uh, Philharmonics I got tons of uh, Maple Leafs but I want to try and branch out and get some uh, other stuff maybe if I'm feeling adventurous I'll even go for some Middle Eastern coins which after uh, Watching videos by Fiverr, uh, gotta say I'm really interested in. Them. I can't read the the writing, obviously, but uh, really, uh, really like the way that stuff looks and uh, the history and all of it is quite fascinating. So uh, maybe if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll uh, I'll go that route. But um, yeah. And to top it all off, the uh, the local coin shop I went to went ahead and threw in this orange uh, Canadian Monster box, which is really cool because uh, it's not the typical yellow ones like you see. It's an orange one from the Polar Bears. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can clean this guy up and make it look pretty. And I'll have a nice sturdy container to keep my uh, my treasure in. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, really glad you could enjoy this with me. I spent uh, $2,513, uh, give or take, uh, today on uh, all this stuff you see here in front of you. And uh, had a lot of fun buying it and 
had a lot of fun sharing it with you. So uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I placed another order with uh, Provident, which should be arriving in a couple weeks. And I'll have some more goodies to share with you. All right. Take care.